Hi guys, today we would like to introduce telecommunication laboratory one part nine. This part involves power code modulation or PCM. Okay, experiment one PCM encoder. First, we put the PCM encoder module in the i m n a t i e m s Next, the variable DC is connected to the input of the PCM encoder. Then, we link the sample clock signal to the CLK channel. We connect the PCM data. To the oscilloscope. This is the conversion of the DC signal that have wanted zero volts to the digital signal by using PCM. There are many modes for choosing right here. If we adjust to seven bits. The number quantization level are 128 or two power seven levels. For using four bits, the number of quantization level are 16 or two power four level. That means one sample is replaced by four bits. For using seven bits, one sample will be replaced by seven bits. After that, we show the frame start signal to the oscilloscope. Press run or stop button. The blue wave is the frame start signal. Now we use four bits. We press run or stop again to observe the signals. Move the signals. Change to seven bits. There are seven bits in one sample. You u s start focusing on the second impulse. Is it difficult to observe the signals? The blue wave or f a m e start signal will indicate that where is starting convert of the sample to analog. It seems to be one zero 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 that have seven bits. It will repeat over and over again. You can be set the voltage of the DC signal to zero, two, and minus two by yourself. Then you have to observe the sequence. Let's add a jet to four bits. Stop the signal to observe. You u s e forgot right here. It seems to be zero one zero zero. Next, we will change the wanted to two volts. We display the DC signal on the oscilloscope. We increase the wanted to two volts. 
Okay, we connect the DC signal to the input of the PCM encoder. We have to see a different sequence for the previous simulation. Stop the signal to observe the signal. It is probably zero one one zero. It is different from the previous simulation. You try to compare signal four by four bits and seven bits. You must adjust the voltage to minus two volts and observe the sequence by yourself. We will not demonstrate. You must understand the input of the PCM encoder. Will receive the analog signal. This module consists of sampling and quantization. Using 7 bits is better than using 4 bits. The error for the conversion of analog to digital is less than using 4 bits. Next, experiment 2. Firstly, we connect the message signal to the input of the PCM encoder. We will see the sequence that change according to the message signal. We set it at 7 bits. We show the message signal on the oscilloscope. The output of the PCM encoder is displayed on the oscilloscope. We will see the signal as follows. We don't know the position of sampling. It repeats over and over. It samples some position. How many points is one period of a side wave sample? Next, we show the frame start on the oscilloscope. Yeah, we will see the signals like this. We use 7 bits. This link has 7 bits. Then we display the message on the oscilloscope to see how often it is sample. It is found that it is sample right here, here, and here. We use the TTL signal that have a frequency 100 kHz at the clock sample. The frame star signal have more frequency. Okay, if we use clock sample that have a frequency of 8.3 kHz. We will see the signal right this. After that, we show the PCM data on the oscilloscope. This drain have seven bits. Next, we show the message again.
Then we use the sample clock that have a frequency of 100 kilohertz. We will see the signals at figure. It is sampling more option. We show the PCM data. It is observed that the sampling is more frequent. Next, experiment 3, PCM transmission. We will use the PCM decoder. We use the DC signal at the input of the PCM encoder. The TTL signal that have a frequency of 8.3 kHz is used at the sample clock. We show the DC signal on the oscilloscope. We use 7 bits. This is the input signal. We will convert it to digital signal by using PCM encoder. The PCM data is shown on the oscilloscope. If we decrease voltage of the signal, the PCM data is like this. If we increase the voltage, the PCM data signal is very. Next, we display the frame star signal on the oscilloscope. We will know the position of sampling start. After that, we connect the PCM data to the PCM data of the decoder. The encoder using 7 bit. Therefore, the decoder also use 7 bits. Then we use the same clock for encoder and decoder. We show the output of the PCM decoder on the oscilloscope. We also show the input signal. The yellow wave is the output signal. If we adjust the input signal, the output is very. Okay, and for experiment 4, you must simulate by yourselves.